since humanity was and is worth saving. Next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. How in the world are we at this place in this time? Seven and a half years of development, the game that was going to launch the Xbox Series consoles, erase the abysmal generation of Xbox One, and yet we miss the launch window. 343 just can't get it done. So we delay it. Then we delay it again. Every bit of news coming out of 343 about this game, instead of hyping you up, is tearing you down. This is Halo, and it feels like a double A brand new developer trying something new for an audience that isn't receptive. It doesn't feel like Halo. And now the game is going to launch incomplete. They developed the game seven and a half years. They're working on the campaign and the multiplayer. And for some reason, every Halo before it had co-op, but they can't get it done. While they were developing the single player, somehow they weren't thinking about co-op in those levels. Somehow they weren't working that in. Explain it to me. Don't hit me with, yeah, but PlayStation, we're talking about Xbox being adult. This is not an ideal situation. This is not the situation that Halo or Master Chief should be in. This is utterly, utterly ridiculous that this game, A, we haven't seen anything. We've seen cutscenes. We've seen poor, poor gameplay, which we're gonna see again here. And then we didn't see anything else. And everything that we've heard since then has been a huge disappointment. Any other studio with a franchise this big would be embarrassed, would be removed. At this point, they can't do anything. 343 is going to make the next Halo game. Phil Spencer saying Halo isn't make or break. It'll be around 20 years from now. What kind of, what kind of trust is that? What kind of confidence does that convey? It doesn't need to be great. It doesn't need to be make or break. Trust me, this Halo will make or break the franchise, period. It'll be just another mediocre online shooter played by people who don't want to admit that the franchise is dead if it launches and it's bad. And all signs right now are pointing to it being bad. I don't care if it's not what you want to hear. This is what you need to hear. I don't know how they're in this situation. How do you make a game, let alone Halo? And co-op is an afterthought to the point where you have to delay it. Let's put that aside for a second. Here we are in the next generation. It's all about next generational features, right? Like ray tracing. And yet that's delayed. Why? Why are next gen features delayed in a game? Why is that okay? Why is the fact that it's in a service somehow make it okay for it to be incomplete? This is not a new studio with a new game. This is Halo. Why is this okay? Clearly the folks at 343, clearly Bonnie Ross, clearly these people who are developing the next Halo game need to take a break or at the very least be removed from making this franchise at this point. This game cannot release and be great at this point. Hopefully it'll release and be serviceable. What does Doctor Who think about this game? What will it be like? Curry sauce all over your anus. That's right. This game will be like curry sauce all over your anus. Seriously though, tell me in the comment section, how is this okay? Explain to me why it's okay for a storied franchise in a series that's always been top of the mark in the industry. How is it okay that it launches incomplete? And I'm gonna tell you why this happened. This happened because Microsoft decided that everything and anything that they do begins and ends with games as a service and Game Pass. 
Some things need to be created without thinking about Game Pass, without thinking about subscription models, without thinking about reasons to keep people in and paying. The excuse of it's okay that it won't be finished in time because it's in a service, that's what this leads to, period. You can let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm angry, I'm disappointed, and that's that. Think about liking and subscribing. See you in the next one.